In this example, we have another feedback control system with two gains, Ka and K. And this is the plant you are trying to control. The question is, determine the maximum gain Ka times K that it leads to a stable system. To do that, we first need the transfer function again, y over r, which in this case is again simple to calculate. That is going to be Ka times K times 10s plus 10, and the multiplication of the numerator here, divided by s plus 1 times s plus 100 times s, the multiplication of these terms, plus the numerator, ka times k times 10 times s plus 10. And this rearranges to this following expression. This is now the closed loop transfer function. It's a third order polynomial. We can now proceed with the Routh array and then evaluate the stability based on the gain k times ka. This is a third order function, so let's start with s to the power of 3 and go down to s to the power of 0 as usual. s to the power of 1, s to the power of 0. The coefficient of s to the power of 3 is 1. To s to the power of 2 is 101. s to the power of 1 is 100 times a plus k a k times 10 and s to the power of 0 is 100 k times k a. Now that we have all coefficients, we can start to fill out the array. Let's just start with this element. Let's call this element here element b. And you know that this element here is 0. Right? 1 times 0 minus 0 times 101 is 0. And b in this case is the multiplication of these four elements that is 100 1 times 100 k k a minus 100 plus 10 k k a times 101 all divided by 101. Now this element here is 101 times 0 minus b times 100k times ka divided by negative b. So this is 0, this b cancels, this sign cancels, you are left with that term 100k times ka. And the term here is zero. Now that, we, now that the array is completed, we can establish the stability criterion based on sign changes in the first column. So this is the value of b we found here. We can now simplify this expression. b will be 100 kka minus 101 times 10 kka. This is 1010 minus 100, that is negative 910 k k a divided by negative 101. And here we have negative 101 times 100 divided by negative 101, that is plus 100. This can simplify now to 100 plus 910 k k a divided by 101. All right, so here we have the value of b. We can now proceed and evaluate the stability by looking at the sign changes in the first column. Now from this, it's clear that a b needs to be greater than 0. And also 100 kka needs to be greater than 0. So from this second condition, kka needs to be greater than zero. You now look at the first condition here, which is the one you have written there. Now B needs to be greater than zero as well, which means that a KKA 
needs to be greater than negative 100 times 101 divided by 910. So from this condition, kKa needs to be greater than negative 11.09. So here is one condition, kKa needs to be greater than zero, and kKa needs to be greater than negative 11.09. Of course, this condition, if this condition is met, this condition, second condition, is also respected. So the only condition for stability is that a kKa is greater than zero.